What's up to all of our Ironwood friends and family? I'm just super excited because we are doing something that we've never done before in this video. I'm pumped, I'm so ready for this. We're at the Jennings property. So if you've been following us for a while, you're subscribed on YouTube, you've been seeing videos on Facebook, then you know that the Jennings is one of our first big projects where we basically put a neighborhood in. Behind me is one of the last houses that's going on this property and it is a hemlock. So our biggest model, we got two stories, attached garage included, and I'm gonna show you the inside in a minute. Right now we are in the phase of construction that you call rough-ins. So our roof is on, we're closed in, but we're running in HVAC, electrical, plumbing, things that go behind the walls, and then after that it's onto the drywall phase. But I'll give you a little tour of the inside. I'm inside of one of the reasons that the hemlock is so cool, because the garage comes with the base price of that model. So you get a garage no matter what. It's part of that design. So I love that. And you come in from the garage into a mudroom. Okay, over here I want to highlight just a couple of things that make the Hemlock really special for those of you who might not already be familiar. So come on this way. Right over here to the left we have an office right off of the main floor. I love that. Being able to work from home, especially nowadays, and having it right off the front door if you have meetings or something like that. That's really cool. But over here is an art piece that I gotta show you. This is something that we put a lot of time into, how we wanted the look to be. We've got this staircase with these open stair treads that overhang into the foyer right here. And once those are stained to complement the hardwood floor look, it is amazing. Not only that, but you may have seen in some of our pictures before, our custom iron railings that go diagonal like this. And when that's all said and done, with the shiplap on the wall, it is a sight to be seen. Moving over into the living room area, I wanna show you something new that we've made a little adjustment to based on your feedback. We do listen to feedback. When our potential homeowners are asking, hey, what about this, what about this? We're thinking about that and seeing how we can make those adjustments. So one of those is right here. We've created this knee wall right here. There's some things that we need as far as the HVAC return, but this now allows this to be able to be a flat surface for a TV to go so that when you're putting your furniture and all that, there's a place where you can envision that. So it just gives you more options. Let's head over here into the open floor plan for the kitchen. Right over here, you've got the living room flowing into the dining room, flowing into the huge kitchen island that spans all the way back to about here. And this is the pantry back here, but you can see tons of space right here. The heart of the home where all of the cooking playing, eating, family time, everything is happening right here on this main level. We love it. Can't wait to see this one finished. Okay, so now let's go upstairs and see what's going on up there. I don't really get tired of envisioning these houses being finished and then families moving in and making them homes, places where they can live and love and do life together. Um, up here is a common area. I love it because when you wake up in the morning, you brush your teeth. This is a place where people meet each other for the first time before starting their day. This is an amazing space with potential to have kind of a built-in furniture area, nice open foyer where bedroom one, two, and three all share this hall bathroom. And then obviously we have the master suite up here, complete with a walk-in closet and a soaking tub and a shower and a separate room for the toilet all of the things that you need. Switching gears to show you the basement real quick, you do have an option of having your home on a crawl or adding a basement, whether it's unfinished or finished, it's up to you. But it's a great way to add square footage for the future and we rough in a bathroom if you do go with unfinished so that if you want to do that in the future, you can. But it's amazing just to see this extra space and the potential that it could be. So I told you at the beginning we were doing something special here. You're probably wondering what that was. Well, this hemlock is not a new model for us. We've done this before. It's not that this one is being built on 10 acres of land, which is 
an amazing place to be able to spread out and kind of have homestead. But the cool thing about this one is that this one is available now. I haven't done a video of one of our models when it was available. And so I'm excited to do that, excited to engage with some people online with questions and be able to answer anything that you wanna know about this. But we're excited to be building this and offer it to somebody in the area. So if you're interested in it, let us know. We're gonna be doing a part two, at least kind of show you kind of the progress of this. So make sure that you like this video, share it, subscribe, do all of the things that people do with videos online. And we're gonna keep you updated along the way. Thanks for checking us out.